Well, tell us what happened at the Racing Post. Well, I it was brought to my attention um, that I was earning £8,000 less a year than my male colleague. Um, he was my, he edited the rival title, we both competed for the same market share. Uh, we had a 98% crossover in content in our titles. Um, and so I challenged my manager about it naturally and was shocked to hear him say, look, we pay you what you're worth, um, get over it. So of course it spurred me on to raise an, an equal pay grievance against the company. Um, that was with the support of the union? That was absolutely with the support of the union and Barry Fitzpatrick was deadly in our negotiations and you know instrumental in, in getting the decision that we did. Well, first of all, I was um, informed that it would be a three-stage process. Um, my manager initially presided over the stage one hearing, um, and then it went on through the managers, through the company, um, and it, you know, it took seven months. Um, unfortunately, I was armed with the facts, and they failed to avail them of, of those during, during the whole exercise. Um, and they wriggled and ducked and dived as much as they could. Um, but in the end, you know, they had to they had to roll over because they knew I was determined to take them to a tribunal and get my day in court. And what did you get out of it? Um, I got twenty six thousand pounds in in back pay for the three and a half years that I'd been in the position, and I got an eight thousand pound pay rise. So what were the salaries? What was the difference? It was in the end. Initially, it was six thousand pounds from when I started in the position, but with inflationary increases, that pushed it up to eight thousand pounds after that period of time. And a major victory, I mean, not only for the NUJ, but also, you know, to set a precedent for women in the workplace, because this is completely unacceptable in 2008. I think I was the youngest female editor um, to, to work in, in the racing industry. Um, and it, it's absolutely male-dominated, but, you know, we, we prove ourselves as equal to our peers. There's, you know, we love our jobs and we you know, put our heart and soul into it. Are there other women working there in the same sort of position? Uh, there are. They're, they're gradually um, climbing the career ladder in the Racing Post. And in recent years, they've really encouraged women in the workplace. When I first joined eight years ago, there were only three people there. So you think your case might help other women in similar jobs? I certainly hope so. I mean, if you're armed with the facts and you've got the law behind you, then there is no reason not to go for it. And your £8,000 are you better off? Absolutely.